Let's tour one of Disney World's cheapest hotels with a stay at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. Disney's All-Star Movies is a value resort here in Disney World that is the cheapest category. It is located in the Animal Kingdom Resort area, so kind of far from other stuff, but pretty close to Animal Kingdom. And it is one of three All-Star Resorts. These are the three cheapest resorts. There is movies, music, and sports. Movies is a favorite of many because it is themed to Disney movies. You can expect to see larger than life theming around this hotel. We will certainly check a lot of that out today. But we gotta start with a very important step and that's check-in. You may have seen me do a Disney World hotel tour before. I've stayed at every single one and there are tours of all of them up on our channel now, including All-Star Movies. This is my second stay here. But my last day was my very first ever hotel tour for all years. And it took place when there were still a ton of health restrictions in place in Disney World after the pandemic. So a lot of stuff is gonna have changed since that last video. Now, when you arrive at All-Star Movies, you will find yourself in the lobby with check-in. Now you can either check in the old school way at the desks with cast members, or you can check in using the My Disney Experience app or in My Disney Experience online. If you do this, you can go ahead and put in all of your details, get everything all set for your check-in, and you'll get a text when your room is ready. So you might not even have to go to the front desk at all. Of course, you might still wanna pick up a physical room key. I certainly recommend it. I just love to have one just in case my phone or magic band isn't working. So you might wanna make a physical stop at the front desk here. Now, if you do arrive before your room is ready, you can stop by the Bell Services desk, which is just outside right here and you can have them hold your bags for you until your room is ready. If you want to head to the parks after checkout time, you can also drop off your bags here and pick them up when you need to head to the airport or start your drive home. We are already checked in, and that's because we're in the middle of our huge last to leave Disney World competition, where one of the contestants wins a trip to Paris. Yes, so I've been in Disney World for days, who knows how much longer, but uh, that's going on right now. If you wanna see that, it is up on the channel now, and it got pretty intense. So since we're checked in, let's go check out that room. Now, our room is actually in pretty prime retail. And that's because when I booked, the only room that was available was the preferred room. So we're in a preferred room, which at the All Stars just means that you are in a little bit uh, more convenient of a location. So we are in the Fantasia section. Fantasia section is right by the main pool. It's right by the lobby, super quick walk. Um, and we are not in the super cute sorcerer's hat sorcerer hat groom building we're just across the way where you'll see oh lo i love that the little toy soldiers so sweet and the ballerina that he's in love with oh how adorable man it would be super weird if this was the scary clown jack-in-the-box building he's the main feature we're in the scary jack-in-the-box building it happens to the best of us sometimes you're in a scary jack-in-the-box. But with the preferred room, even though we're in a prime location, we are actually on the back side of the building facing away from the pool, which is pretty ideal because those rooms facing the pool can be pretty noisy. Uh, this is a request you can make when you check in with the front desk. It's like, hey, could I not have a uh, room facing the pool? Or maybe you want that pool view. But let's head inside and do our room tour. We're gonna go a little bit back in time for this because like I said, we've been checked in for a few days and we wanted to give you that fresh room tour. So join me, Emma and Fry, in the past to take a look at this room. All right, room tour, this is us. We're in the middle of our big last to leave competition and by in the middle, I mean it just started and we're already exhausted. Okay, so we're gonna take a look around our all-star movies room. We are staying just in an all-star movies room this time. This is one of Disney's most value resorts. Um, one of the smallest rooms you can get in Disney World, but still has a solid use of space on amount of amenities. So let's take a look around. You enter here at your door, got a room occupied sign for if you wanna put that on the outside, which we probably will. Standard door locks, this is your like scanny door lock for your magic band or room key. You've got your little uh, deadbolt as well as whatever this is called a door bar. Then your evacuation room, ever important, and the rooms do have people so you can see who's knocking. Right next to it, we do have our window. Blackout curtains are a part of the window, so if you wanna take a nap midday, you definitely can. But if you just want light in with some privacy, you've got privacy curtains. And then if you want the windows open, you can leave them open. But one thing about the All-Stars is that there are external hallways, which means you are looking out your window into the external hallway. Folks will be walking by, they'll be hanging out downstairs. We'll get a better view of the daytime that you can see as well. But um, yeah, so you definitely want your privacy curtain closed most of the time. I was trying to film the view earlier and I scared some people by standing really close to the window, so. Um, 
Next up, we have our little sort of like kitchen space. Um, for lack of a better word, you've got some shelving here for any snacks or anything like that or your stuff. There's no rules. You can put whatever you want, wherever you want. You've got your ice bucket as well as this little Cuisinart coffee maker set with some Resort Blend Joffreys. And in the drawer, you've got plenty more coffee, decaf, tea, um, and your to-go cups and things like that. Thermostat right here on the wall. And we do have your beverage cooler here, which... It's pretty small, but you can probably fit some leftovers or just like a lot of bags of carrots in there. I don't know why you do that, but we do. <laughs> um, this is gonna be your main light for the room, which is kind of strange. It's on the wall instead of the ceiling, but it's a nice light. You've got your recycling bin and trash here. And then we make it to our um, TV and dresser section of the room. The TV is a Samsung Smart TV. I was super excited to see this. This is something you'll see in renovated rooms in Disney World as well as some of the newer hotels. So you got our Samsung Smart TV. This is awesome because it means you can cast whatever you want from your phone to the TV, which is not the case with the older TVs. We've also got the dresser here, which has three drawers. These are all about the same size. We're using ours to store a lot of beef jerky and like a lot of rice cakes for no particular reason. If you're curious, go watch Last to Leave. We also have some outlets on the actual dresser with plenty of counter space on the dresser. The outlets are both USB and standard outlets. Got your take along guide to the magic, which will tell you about the offerings around Disney World, as well as this little uh, housekeeping notice. And then all of my stuff, including my children's Coca-Cola that I got at dinner. <laughs> I, including this Coca-Cola that I stole that I stole from a child. I, I pushed the kid over and I took his Coca-Cola. Then we have this cabinet. In the cabinet, we have two extra pillows, which are for a very good reason, which we will show you soon, as well as your in-room safe, which is programmable. You can set it how you want. Then we've got some hooks over here, which is awesome because in a room with less space, you probably do want to hang your jackets and things up, as well as some floor space here for your bags. We'll get into the bathroom in a minute. She's in there taking a little nap. We've got our bed, which Fry is experiencing here. We'll do bed science, of course. I'm not putting my shoes on. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Um, this is Fry's jar of cheese balls, which is hers and hers alone at this time. Again, if you want an explanation, go watch Last to Leave. The bed has four pillows. You are going to scare people in the room to where they're going to be like, I, this is a weird channel that I came to to learn about all-star movies. And they'd be, they'd be right. The <laughs> they, to the club. They'd be right. Um, side tables are kind of built into the headboard here. You've got more of those outlets built in and your main lights above the bed are going to be these big, uh, rectangular lights. This isn't great for reading light purposes because it still illuminates the room a lot. If you have one of them on, you can see it still illuminates a lot. So it's not the best at like, oh, if one person in the room needs darkness to go to sleep and one person wants to stay up, not great. But it does have this cute Mickey, Minnie, and Donald print above the bed, which I absolutely love. We have Fry Bucket. She may or may not be in your room when you arrive at All-Star Movies. She will be in your she, room. You could be. You don't know what that could happen. What if like your mom is watching this? Okay, well, that's a very unique action. <laughs> I'm just one. saying we can't rule it out. What if Emma's watching this? <laughs> All right, we've got your room phone right here by the bed so you don't have to get out of bed to answer it. And another of those little cubby space side tables here. Then we have our table, which this is really interesting. This is where the space use gets interesting in this room. You've got your table, and this is actually also a Murphy bed, which we will pull down in just a second as part of our redecorating montage. But you've got your Murphy bed here that is a table if you have it up. And it's got two chairs. The chairs are fun because they're the same chairs you get at all three of the All-Stars, which means they are movie, music, and sports all at once. Is this sports? What is that supposed to be? You wouldn't know sports. No, that's obviously sports. That's sports. That's what? It looks like a clock. I, that's what I think, too. I think that might be music because there's two movie ones. Well, that looks like that's music. Well, that's a bowling ball. That's a bowling ball. Film reel, film, film reel. I don't, we are unclear on this. If you know what that is. Let us know in the comments. And then there is another side table over here because again, this is a Murphy bed. So this is a good side table for the Murphy bed. And this has your Hey Disney virtual assistant. This is a new voice activated assistant that stays in pretty much all the Disney hotel rooms. It's a collaboration between Disney and Amazon Alexa. And you have access to both Hey Disney, Disney's version and Alexa. When you use this, you can ask 
Alexa questions, or you can talk to Hey Disney and get it to tell you a joke or tell you details about um, the hotel or all of Disney World, Disney hours, weather, and things like that. Now, I've seen a lot of people have concerns about privacy with a voice assistant that has a microphone in your room. Two reasons you don't need to have those concerns. One, when you come in, it will be muted. And if you don't trust that, you can always unplug it. The plugs are accessible and you're welcome to unplug Hey Disney and they can plug it back in for you when you leave or you can plug it in when you leave if it's something you're uncomfortable with. I love it. I think the soundscapes and the storytelling it can do for kiddos is super fun, um, but you know, to each their own. And another cubby here. Now for the bathroom. Emma, are you ready to welcome us into your abode? Uh, there is a sliding door to get into the bathroom. It does not lock. Um, but it does completely close off the bathroom. So if someone's getting ready while someone's still sleeping, that's available. Then in the actual bathroom, you have Emma's Duncan from earlier that she never finished and didn't I know, throw away. I found it when we came back. I was <laughs> so mad. It's, it's like magic. it's like two sips. It was magic though. It was magic and not tragic. It was magic. You got your ironing board here, and then some shelving space on the right side of the sink as well as down low. We've got tissues, extra tissues, because there are tissues out already, as well as your iron and your hair dryer in the shelving space. Couple other little cubbies, which is awesome, because as you can see, there's not a ton of vanity space up here. And if you've got more than two adults in this room, you're probably gonna run low on vanity space, so it's nice to have those little cubbies to keep some of the toiletries. Pretty large sink as well. There's only one sink, but it is a large one. And you'll have your bath soap on the side of the sink, plus plenty of washcloths on this big mirror where you can see me do this. Emma, join in. Emma, join in. Emma, join in. Oh. You've also got your tissue box up here that is stocked with tissues and some more hand towels down under the sink. All Disney hotel rooms have a makeup mirror like this, which I think is pretty exciting because you look really funny in it. <laughs> Then we've got the commode room, which does separate from the uh, like full sink room with a sliding door here. And that is where you'll find your full length mirror. So you can see Emma and I do this. Oh, whoa. Uh, this one, however, does lock. There's a lock on this door, so you can lock off the shower and the toilet. In your bathroom, you've got your commode. Ever important, you've got your toilet paper as well as some extra toilet paper and some towels. Remember, you can always request more towels. And there's another one over here, as well as your bath mat. And whose luggage is this? Fry's. Fry's luggage and my bag. <laughs> um, your shower does have a glass door, but it's a wibbly warbly glass door, if that's important to you. Um, slides either direction, so whichever side you want to get in or out on, you can. And it is a tub, full tub. The only reason there's stuff on the ground in the tub is because Sage was standing in here earlier. <laughs> It's, it was clean. Um, we've got a uh, shower head as well as your standard controls. It's a pretty standard sized bathtub and you have your little cubby for any toiletries you've brought or need to use as well as your reusable Disney, not reusable, refillable Disney toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, these are locked so you don't have to worry about other guests getting into them. It's just refilled by the household keeping staff. And there is a clothesline in the shower as well. So if you have anything that needs to dry, like if you got in a lazy river today, you could do that. And that's the room. It's pretty small, um, but we do still have to do a redecorating montage. Bri, could you give us a little razzle dazzle? I did a jingle and you just like didn't uh, do anything. Head, so. so a little razzle dazzle. Redecorating montage. Oh. Wow, this was more than I expected. Here's the Murphy bed opened up. So this room is actually a two queen bed room. Um, it's just that one of the beds is foldable. So if you've only got, if you only have use for one bed, you can leave it folded up. Or if you want both beds down, you can. Just keep in mind, these are pretty small rooms. This is your entrance space. This is your walking space, which as you can see, we need to move this chair because it's pretty much obstructing the whole thing. With the cabinet open, it obstructs the whole thing. There's very little space between the two beds. Oh, yeah. And there's very little space on the side. So you are getting one of the smaller hotel rooms in Disney World with this, but it's also one of the cheapest. It actually is the cheapest hotel room you can get. Yeah, you get what you pay for. This is, um, I love an all-star because I actually do think they are relatively reasonably priced. Um, 
but yeah, this is this is our room, and it's where we will be staying indefinitely until one of us, Forever. two until two of us leave Disney World. Back to probably a slightly less tired version of us uh, exploring the rest of the hotel. I forgot bed science. Ah! <laughs> hey, do you want to come participate? Yeah, we all look a little rough. Um, little we've prepared for slumber. Go! Ah! Wait. Come on, you guys. What? No, we have to bed science on the same bed. I'm not sure. <laughs> Those are your feet. Saying. All right, well, this bed is actually pretty comfy, I would say. It's definitely, like, not the most luxurious mattress in the world. We are at a value resort. Yeah. But it's a nice mix between firm and soft. And I think that when you're staying at an all-star, you're probably spinning open to close in the park, which means you're probably sleepy. What does your pillow take? I'm indifferent. Um, I love Disney pillows. I really like softer pillows. And I think that these pillows are really soft without being not supportive. Like, my head feels, still feels supportive. But look at that head sinkage. Pretty great. Emma, however, likes a firmer pillow. She likes she likes a very supportive firmer pillow, and these Disney pillows are not that. So just a warning for my firm pillow lovers. Mm -hmm. um, but a comfy bed. Emma has really got a ton of bed sides over there. <laughs> She's tucked in. Or more. It, our half day was kind of aggressive today. Yeah, but like mm -hmm. I'm saying, we're tired. Yeah, you're they're tired. tired. He, she, we, tired. tired. Well, that's a new bit to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're. I think we're going to have a, a good sleep in here. In general, the Murphy bed, in my experience, a little less comfortable than the actual real beds, but only by a little bit. Still, stick your kids on that one. Bed science. We're going to do eight-hour bed science, and now we'll return you. You're doing, you're doing eight hours. Oh, you're right. Go watch Last Sleep. Um, now return to our nice room tour experience that has us slightly more awake. So that was the room, some of the cheapest rooms in Disney World. We gotta talk about pricing though, because Disney World cheap isn't necessarily cheap cheap. So at All Star Movies, you can either get one king bed or you can get two queen size beds, one of which is that table bed that we saw. And these rooms sleep up to four adults. The rooms have either courtyard pool or parking area views, and there are two categories. So a lower price category and a higher price category, standard and preferred. The only thing the preferred gets you is a slightly better location that gets you close to cinema hall, dining, the lobby, the main pool, all that. Standard rooms start at around $133 per night and go up to around $305 per night. The preferred rooms start at around $162 and go up to around $350 per night. Now room prices in Disney World do vary depending on a couple of things, obviously your room type, obviously your view, but then it can also vary based on dates. That's actually the biggest variance. Um, they are date based pricing. So on busier times of year, going to be more expensive, which is why you should go in February if you want cheaper room weights. The other thing I have to tell you is to keep an eye out for special offers. You never know when one might pop up that might knock a few bucks off your room. But now that those sleepy girls and me have taken you through everything you need to know about the rooms, let's go take a full walking tour of this resort because there's surprisingly a lot to see even though it's on the smaller side. No better place to start exploring a hotel than where you'll get dropped off, which is right here at this star-shaped port cachere. This is right off of that main lobby building. And something super fun about the All-Stars is that there is a red carpet when you arrive because, you know, you're an All-Star, so you get a red carpet. Disney Valley Resort's lobby is not going to have a ton of bells and whistles, but it still has some Disney touches that I think are pretty awesome. One, the amazing cast members helping with check-in, which is, of course, wonderful. They've got this really beautiful Wish photo op in here right now. Of course, that movie did just come out, so it might be a different photo op when you're here. And they have Disney movies playing in the lobby. They've got Cinderella right now. We watched a little bit of Coco last night, which you know I loved. And that's kind of just the check-in room. If you want to use those physical check-in desks, they're all on the right as you come in. Plenty of cast members ready to help you out. And there's also a little info board as well as um, this little photo pass thing, which is super cute. You can pose with Mickey and friends with that. If you need some like, you know, kind of boring amenities, you want to check over by the lobby restrooms, which is where you will find some fuel rod chargers, some phones if you need them. Then you've got this long hallway with this beautiful skylight. So we're gonna pop out to the bus stop, which is right off of the lobby. There's one bus stop for the All-Stars. Luckily, even the furthest room with the All-Stars are really only like an eight to 10 minute walk. Let's talk a little bit about transportation from the All-Stars to the parks and other parts of Disney. The only option for transportation is bus transportation. And these are larger hotels, so the buses can get pretty busy. However, they do a really great job of managing this. 
As you can see, they get these super long extendo buses. I rode one of these yesterday to get back and it was super comfy. There was plenty of space, plenty of seats. Wasn't at a peak time. Peak time you might stand, but still. You can bus to Magic Kingdom, Disney Springs, Typhoon Lagoon, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. Now, when Blizzard Beach is open, you can actually bus to Blizzard Beach as well, which most hotels have to transfer Animal Kingdom to get to Blizzard Beach. And of course, you can get to Hollywood Studios. So you can really get around from the All-Stars. Occasionally, during slow times, you might see the All-Stars share buses with the other All-Star hotels, but, but that hasn't been the case the whole time we've been here. Every time, our bus has just gone directly to All-Star movies and not any of the others. When you're taking the bus at any Disney World hotel, you should check out these screens, which will tell you when your next bus is arriving. It's usually pretty accurate within a few minutes, but of course, slowdowns can cause it to be a little off. When that happens, though, these boards will update. They're like actively tracking your bus, but it tells you how to get around, as well as the weather and some other details. Now, bus transportation is obviously the least glamorous Disney transportation. It's no boat, no monorail, no Skyliner. That said, it still gets the job done. And there's something super, I think, nostalgic about Disney buses for me, because I have lots of pictures of my family on Disney buses when I was little. Um, and I love a Disney bus. There's nothing like going back to your hotel when you're exhausted and kind of falling asleep a little bit on that Disney bus. Back inside, we've got Donald's double feature, which is super cute. Which one's the blue one, Huey, Dewey, or Louie? I only see them in, in, in a trio. This is your merchandise stop at the hotel, and it's gonna have lots of super cute merchandise, a lot of the more generic merchandise. I would say this is mid-sized for a Disney World hotel gift shop. Sometimes gift shops are very small, sometimes they're very, very large. This one, right in the middle. You're gonna have a lot of classic Disney things, Disney souvenirs, um, so you can grab some things if you're headed to the park and you wanna make sure you have those ears on your head before you get there, you need a bag. All, the, all those souvenirs are here. Now, if you see something in the parks that you love, I do recommend grabbing it while you're in that park because there's no guarantee that they'll have that item back at the hotel. There's no guarantee you'll see it in the other parks. So if you see something you love, grab it just in case. You never know. In addition to toys and souvenirs and apparel and things, in the back you will find a very useful section. They've got some homewares, if you want to take that as a souvenir. And they've also got popcorn candy, pretzels, chips, as well as some drinks, snacks, even alcoholic beverages back here that you can grab, bottles of wine. Um, they've even got some things like Lunchables and stuff, which for me is a lifesaver because sometimes you just need a little something on the go to get you over to your next meal. They've also got lots of essentials like medicine, sunscreen, toothbrush and toothpaste for anything you forgot, um, which, you know, essentials wall, very important. Something we always look for in a gift shop is an essentials wall. So you've got pretty much anything you might need. They're also playing rescue rangers in here. Basically, if you want to watch a movie, you have like so many, oh, okay, it's a clip they're playing. Now Rescue Rangers is playing. So basically, if you want to watch something, you have many options at all-star movies. Now at some Disney hotels, you will see resort-specific merchandise. I'm actually not, here it is, I found it. So there's not a ton here right now. We saw more over at All-Star Sports, but you've got this All-Stars water bottle, All-Stars magnets, um, and ornaments, and this little All-Stars pin. So the merch is the same for all three All-Stars hotels, but they do have this. Keep an eye out for this in the gift shop if you want some All-Stars merchandise. Something else fun about the All-Stars is that you do have this All-Star Movies Hall of Fame. This is a changing display, which right now is talking about Star Wars, which is really cool. It's got pictures of the cast, it's got light speed to number one at the box office, and it's got this cute Luke Skywalker star presented for best performance in the leading role. Now this just changed. You might see something different when you're here, which I think is fun. You can check it every day, see if it switches out. And they've got a Golden Mickey, which is my favorite cruise ship show. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And then on the walls, you've got some pictures of great Hollywood moments. Of course, just nods to great movies over time. There's m many pictures of Tom Hank. It's only two, but that's more than anybody else up there. Walt. Ooh, let's see what the other Hall of Fame box has, if anything. Looks like it doesn't even have anything. Oh no, it does. Just can't see it because of the sun. It's the Muppets. Muppets take Hollywood by storm. Kermit the Frog for his performance in a leading role. Good for him. Down at the other end of the lobby, you've got the real fun arcade and you've got your ATM. So you can head into this arcade for a little bit of fun, play some games. You do have to pay for points to play these games here, but it's not overly expensive. It's just not a free or included option with your stay. Still is a cool option. Maybe your kiddo wants to game or get some energy out. They sure can in here. And it's open late till 1 a.m. So you can 
you could take your kids out and send them to the arcade pretty late. I also wanna talk a little bit about recreation. Now right now there's a little bit of specialty recreation going on because it is Easter weekend this weekend. So it's talking a little bit about some of the options that can happen on Easter Sunday, which are of course some, some special, special things like the pool party in Wonderland, campfire stuff, glow egg hunt, movie under the stars. So it's super fun that there's kind of an Easter themed day here at All Stars, even at that value resort, you're still gonna see those holiday activities. And we're not quite done in the lobby, but before we pop into our next stop, I wanna step out here to the regular recreation board, which will have the other information. Now, at a value level, you're not gonna see as much recreation as you will elsewhere, but there is still what some is stuff this? to do. You've got the Sorcerer's Campfire that's every day weather permitting, and we've got plenty of activities throughout the day that are poolside. Some are upcharged. You'll see a little dollar sign. It's Mickey tie-dye looks like the option. Clapboard photo frame as well, where you can kind of build your own souvenir. That stuff is fun. It does cost a little extra, but there's plenty of free recreation, even at a value hotel. So make sure, make sure, make sure to check out the recreation activities board when you check in. It's usually right by the main pool so that you can learn what's going on while, during your stay. Our next stop though is gonna be our main food location at All Star Movies. This is world premiere food court. Right at the front, you've got caricatures, which are available if you'd like them. But then once you head in, you've got a pretty large food court. Now, obviously, it's not the snazziest dining location in Disney World. There's a lot of amazing food in Disney World that is in food court style. But I don't think we should knock the all-star food courts. I think the food is pretty good in my experience. There's tons of seating, air conditioned, and some seating outside. It's got this super cute theme where it looks like you're at like a grand cinema. And there are a lot of different options, something to please everyone. You've got a section that's pasta, pizza, meatball subs. You've got a section that is specialty entrees, which is like meat and two kind of vibes. You've got grab and go. You've got the Roxy, which is their cheeseburger, sandwiches, chicken tenders kind of things. And you've even got dessert with ice cream sundaes and coffees and things like that. Now a great option when you go to Disney World is the resort refillable mugs. If you drink a lot of sodas or anything like that, you can grab these refillable mugs for length of stay, and it's gonna be $21.99 to do so, and then you can just refill this however many times you want, drinks, coffee, tea, anywhere for the entire time you stay. So a lot of folks do that. Um, it can be a great option. It's one of those perks of being at a Disney hotel that you can just grab a, grab a soda while you're staying here. They've also got some other things for your use. Now in hotel rooms in Disney World, you won't typically see toasters or microwaves, but they do have them in the food court. They've got honey, peanut butter, jam, all sorts of little extra bits. Um, and again, all that nice seating. So, plenty of options. I think we should grab a meal. It's about lunchtime, and we gotta test out the food court. So let's do it. I got one of the most special options that they have in the food court, which is their showstopper burger. Uh, this is made with bacon, onion, jam, cheddar, provolone, jalapeno, and crispy onions on a toasted brioche bun, and it's served with french fries, which is pretty awesome. I'm grab that. It's about fourteen dollars before tax, and we'll see how it holds up. All right, here's the inside. So let's try her out. I ate my burger. It was honestly delicious. I loved it. The onion jam was super sweet. The crispy onions added a nice crunch. And then my favorite part was that there were jalapenos on it. They were not overly spicy. I think they didn't have their seeds. Um, but I loved having like a little bit of heat from the jalapenos um, as I bit into it. So really good burger. Um, I honestly was impressed. Like, was it as good as like, you know, your favorite burger joint in town or a fancy burger place? No. It was an amazing food court burger and definitely would hit the spot after a long park day. We had a lot more food during Last to Leave, which you can check out over in that video if you want to see more of how we feel about the all-star food. But we've got a whole lot more hotel to see. So let's take a little bit of a look at the layout. So like I said earlier, different sections of the hotel. The Fantasia section is right here. We're right here at the lobby building. We've also got a 101 Dalmatian section, a Mighty Duck section, a Love Bug section, and a Toy Story section. So we're gonna go take a look at all of them, check out some of that theming. The 101 Dalmatian section is pretty close to the lobby and has the cute little Dalmatians, as well as you can see Cruella de Vil in her car, Horace and Jasper. And the big features in this area are Pongo and Perdita. A staple of the All-Stars is that there are just huge, larger than life theming details. That's what makes these hotels pretty popular with kiddos is that there's just something better than looking up and seeing a Disney character you love just like looming over you. You got Pongo and Perdita here in this section, which is super cute. And you've even got, I, do, you think that's, do you think it's Patch? I'm not sure which one it is. You got one of the Dalmatians watching the TV, 
probably watching a Canine Crunchies commercial. And you can go in there and act out the Canine Crunchy. One of my favorite things about the All Stars is that the staircases at the ends of the buildings also have really fun themes. You can climb up in a giant fire hydrant in the 101 Dalmatian section, or if you can see on the end of the buildings there, hockey nets in the Mighty Ducks section. The Mighty Ducks section does have one of the two pools at this hotel. This is Duck Pond Pool. This is gonna be the quieter of the two pools, both in crowd levels and in activity. They don't play music at this pool. You won't see the recreation cast members doing any fun pool activities. It's a little bit more chill and a nicer place to sit out and hang. And when the main pool is really busy, you might find that this pool isn't quite as slammed. It's located right here in the Mighty Ducks section and has a very cute statue of Goofy being the goalie. Other things to note about this section is you got these huge duck hockey masks on the building, which is pretty neat. And the buildings themselves have hockey sticks and hockey pucks as well as audiences viewing the game. The bathrooms and guest laundry here are themed to the Mighty Ducks locker rooms. And there's even a massive scoreboard on the side of the pool for the, uh, the hockey game that's obviously going on. I'm a big walker. I love taking walks. And if you do too, don't think that you're just stuck to those main pathways. They're a little noisier. Now the all-stars might not have the most like all-encompassing beautiful grounds but they do have really wonderful grounds they're very well maintained by disney's incredibly talented uh, horticulture staff and uh, there's lots of little pathways to find to take a nice walk but we're taking this one to head to the parking lot because i want to talk a little bit about parking uh, parking is complimentary with your disney world resort stay and there are a lot of lots around all-star movies. So you wanna follow signs when you arrive if you're driving to make sure that you are parking as close to your building as possible, as close to your building number, which will be the first number or numbers if you're in a, to building 10 at the beginning of your room number. You also can see we are very, very close to all-star music. All-star movies is right next to all-star music and all-star music is right next to all-star sports. So you can really e easily get between the three all-stars if you wanna check out some of the other theming as well. It's also technically walkable to both McDonald's and Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. There is a very well-maintained sidewalk, uh, but I don't know how easy that walk is. But both of those spots are pretty close. I would say they're probably the least walkable from All-Star Movies though, because All-Star Movies is located all the way deep in the All-Star Complex. We're kind of cutting around right now to the back section of All Star Movies, which is the love bug section. Yes, Herbie, you can see, we can see some hearts, some racing flags on the buildings. And the end caps of this one are these giant movie clapper boards. And sure enough, they are the clapper boards for Love Bug, directed by Mickey. This one's for camera six, scene one, take three. You know, oh my gosh, no way. Do you see what I'm seeing? It's, it's the whole gang. Pluto, Goofy, and Donald are all here. Snazzy, that's a snazzy walk. Wow, you know you're my favorite Donald? Donald's my favorite duck, but Daisy's my favorite duck because Donald's my favorite duck. There are not better ducks out there. No, this is the best duck. Number one duck, Donald Duck, yeah. <laughs> In addition to Goofy, Pluto, and Donald, who are just hanging out here, uh, which is some magic you will see at all Disney hotels sometimes. It is not planned, it is not scheduled, but sometimes you'll see some Disney pals show up, uh, just touring the world, going around. So we got three buddies today. I'm so happy. I love meeting Donald. Um, we're also in the love bug section. You can see that the buildings themselves have big tools on them to fix Herbie up. And when you enter, you're entering under either the back side of Herbie or the front side of Herbie. And this area has a little extra spice with the winter circle with an actual Herbie car, which is really cool. Of course, having one first place. All right, you see some clouds. You see some toy soldiers on the top of the building. An entire bucket of soldiers around the stairs. Seems like we might be coming up on the Toy Story section. This is a favorite for many because it is one of the more recognizable movies that is represented at this hotel. And there are some super cute theming elements through here. So we're gonna pop right in. This one's another one that's pretty close to the lobby building. Really the only ones that are far are the Mighty Duck section and the Herbie Love Bug section. Those ones are pretty far from the lobby, um, but even still not more than like a five to 10 minute walk. There's some fun recreation out here, including a pinball table, and some chess and checkers, giant chess and checkers. You can take a picture in RC, which is so fun. 
I love that. You'll just see this area's got some pretty incredible theming. Something that's nice is that the buildings have little differences, so it's kind of easy to find yours if you're coming from a different direction than you usually do. Ping pong, available. But we gotta head in here into Annie's room through this giant door because we're toy sized. So head into Annie's room and we'll see some more of that theming. We've got Buzz Lightyear as one of the giant things as labeled with these alphabet blocks. On this side, we've got Woody. This is my favorite one. I love this Woody statue. I think he's so nostalgic and I love that you can see his boot that says Andy. I think it's so cute. And of course that's spelled out in the toy box here. Got the window to Andy's room because remember we're in Andy's room where it's just weirdly sunny for a bedroom. But this, <laughs> that's so funny. The wallpaper is blue sky. And look, it's just the wallpaper up there. There's giant checkers here, but this is just theming giant checkers still. I see little kiddos jumping around on these all the time. I watch Sage jump around on these, so you know, pretty fun stuff. I love this to infinity and beyond wall. That's really cute. And there's even Rex and Bo Peep, who they have little checker pieces in front of them if you want to take pictures with them, which is so cute. And those are all of the outer sections. So we got to check out that main one with the Fantasia 2000 section. Um, we are going to see the main pool. There's a lot more to see over in the Fantasia 2000 section. So we're going to pop that way as our final section of the tour. If you've got kiddos who you know are going to need to get some energy out, there is a standard playground. It is not themed or anything like that, but I've noticed kids don't really care and they got to get their energy out somehow. Also, right off the lobby building, you'll find the real spot. Now, all of Disney resorts offer movies under the stars, which are generally nightly showings of Disney movies that you can watch. Often 8.30 p.m. is usually the time they are. Now, all-star movies with that movie's focus is, I believe, the only resort that has a dedicated pavilion for watching movies, which is here at the real spot. So movies under the stars are actually located in here in the evening with a huge projector and you can pop in here for some nice shady dark seating quiet during the day but you can also see what the movies will be throughout the week with the giant movie posters which is very fun as you might hear we are getting close to the main pool i can hear applause by lady gaga which is also a song i sung in acapella in college which gives me flashbacks a little bit you know um but we are at the main pool which is a little bit snazzier than the duck pond pool we saw earlier you can see mickey himself is here doing some serious magic this is the fantasia pool it is themed to fantasia it is large it is where you'll hear music and cast members with recreation throughout the day and the big main feature here is that mickey is doing his little pool magic and shooting fountains into the pool you'll get a sense of why this pool isn't as relaxing in just a sec Most kiddos are having a great time though. Um, and there is a kiddie pool in this area that has sort of the icebergy, fantastic theme. This will get it right here, shallow kiddie pool for use. Now we saw a little bit of these buildings earlier because this is the building we're in. We've got the soldiers and the scary jack in the box. And then across the way, you can see that there's this very cute Mickey Sorcerer's hat behind this beautiful tree. This is a gorgeous tree, as well as many of the bucket carrying brooms that are probably on their way to fill the Sorcerer's Workshop with water. Not to make you chagrin. Our final stop though is gonna be the Silver Screen Spirits Pool Bar. This is where you're gonna find some specialty beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, to enjoy while you're out by the pool or hanging out at your room or just around the hotel, even with dinner. So there is actually a window directly into the food court if you wanna order inside. But we're gonna grab a little something here, try out one of their specialties and see how it goes. I ended up just going with something classic. I went with a pina colada on the rocks, coconut rum, pineapple agave, and Hello Cocktail Company orange bitters. It's actually a shockingly good pina colada. I usually get them frozen, but I wasn't feeling the frozen, the heaviness of a frozen drink today. So I got it on the rocks and it's like delicious and refreshing and so tasty. Silver Screen Spirits is also a full bar and they do have a few kind of grab and go items if you don't feel like walking inside. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid spot that I'm sitting in right now. Cheers. And that's the All-Star Movies Hotel. So 
delicious pina colada in Jested. Let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons, what you can expect, whether or not this resort is right for you. So first let's talk about perks. This is a Disney hotel, which means you get those Disney perks. That is complimentary transportation. It means that your parking at the hotel and at the parks is complimentary. You get access to the Disney dining plan if you want it. And possibly the biggest one is that you get 30 minutes of early entry to any of the theme parks every single day. So 30 minutes before that park opens, you can be in there with the resort stay. Pros for the All-Stars are gonna be that amazing Disney theming. If you want a super Disney resort with that larger than life theming that kiddos are gonna love, the All-Stars are gonna be a great option for that. Another pro, obviously, the price point. The All-Star Resorts are the cheapest Disney World Resort options. They are reasonable. Often rooms are under $200 per night, which is so, so hard to find in Disney World otherwise. So the All-Stars have the price point as a major pro. The rooms have also been updated. So even though they're small, they also have a really, really nice space use in there and they're pretty comfortable. Cons are that there are fewer dining and amenity options. It is a value hotel. You pretty much just have that food court and that pool bar. So not as many options for you and it's not really close to much. So it's kind of hard to get to other options without taking a bus. Another con is that it can be noisy and there can be higher crowds. These hotels are larger. They're more accessible because they are in that value price category and they often play host to sports and school groups. So tend to be a little more crowded and they tend to be a little noisy. I will speak from experience. I haven't had a ton of issue with noise level, even in a, a building that's right next to the pool. However, I will say that I definitely hear stuff. So if you are very, very sensitive to noise, you might wanna just consider that when looking at an all-star. And our final con is that though the price is really amazing for a Disney World hotel, there are places to stay that could be a little less expensive and maybe a little bit nicer if you look at a non-Disney owned hotel. Now, then you're losing out on those Disney perks. You might have to deal with travel costs, so something to weigh, but just something to keep in mind. Now, when you check out at an all-star, checkout is at 11 a.m. There are limited late checkout requests available, but they're not guaranteed, and that'll just be at noon. Checkout's automatic, you don't have to go by the front desk and your folio will be emailed to you so you can go by the front desk if you have any questions or issues. Overall, I'm a big All-Star fan because I do feel like they are worth the money that you pay for them, which is something that I can't always say in Disney World because prices can get so expensive with that Disney premium. So I'm a big All-Star fan. I would stay here again on my own money anytime. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the All-Stars. I'm really curious. I know they're kind of controversial. I've got to get back to competing to being the last to leave Disney World, which you can check out on the channel now. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch that massive last to leave challenge. I'll see you there.